I don't want to talk about DaVinci Resolve on this video as a video editor, but I want you to know, that if you tried Resolve in Linux and you get disappointed for one reason or another, the good news is that Resolve sucks on Windows too. So, be happy! Resolve sucking big time, isn't a specific Linux issue. Anyway, to the actual point. This is a Kubuntu 19.10 fresh installation, installed on a 120GB SSD drive, and for the story Resolve crashes, while it works fine on Ubuntu 18.4. Now, I tried to run a virtual box and I noticed I ran out of disk space. Which it was kinda weird, because the only thing I got installed was KDE development tools. Speaking of which, KDE is doing something pretty cool for Plasma 18 release, but I didn't manage to run it. Let me show you a quick demo from the bug report. It is a new edit mode thing. So to go back to the original story, I only had 5 gigabytes left, and next I opened Partition Manager to check out what's going on there. I could have opened a terminal to do that, and look cool to you, but I'm reproducing all the actual steps I did before that video, and f*** you if you call me noob. That's the proper way to build a YouTube audience I believe. So, that's my Kubuntu drive, and I have a single partition with around 105 gigabytes already stolen. Next I open Firelight app. And again, Firelight is also available on Windows 10 store. Anyway, that's a great way to inspect file sizes, and Terminal can never do that good enough, because it misses graphical representations. So, here I'm seeing that DaVinci Resolve has robbed 55GB, which is what the actual fuck, because I haven't even run it. It just crashes. If I was a little bit more patient, I could just have clicked on the pie and get some more information, but instead I just opened the file manager. Then I checked all the folders and hidden files separately, but nothing was big enough. So I thought it was some dolphin bug, and then I was finally forced to open terminal. I went to resolve folder, and I run du. Again, I was seeing the total size was 56 gigabytes, but I wasn't seeing any big files. Then I thought what the fuck Ubuntu, and I reopened Dolphin. Then I randomly clicked on crash archive txt file, and that was the actual file that was 55 gigabytes. And it took me so long to find it out, because I obviously could never have imagined a text file could be that big. Especially a file with error messages from a program I never ran, apart 6 or 7 times only to see it crashes. Okay. And now time to inspect that file with Kate. It is just a typical error message file after all. Kate should handle it, or it sucks. Get over here! 